Any day I get to talk about my sugar plum, my pookie bear, my sweetie pie, Gorlock the Destroyer. Anytime I get to talk about him, you know, it's a great day. So here's this clip going viral of him. Oh, I'm not a big fan of toxic masculinity or like whatever, like the the norms, I guess. But I like when there's just like a little bit of that, like I'm the man and I'm going to take charge, you know, like because like, why not? You know, I feel like a lot of boys need to start being boys, though. Like when it comes to like the male roles, because a lot of like men nowadays are expecting princess treatment, and it's like okay, well, I want that energy just as much as, but just as bad as you do. For example, like let's say I get a flat tire on the side of the road, and we're together, you better know how to change that tire. Like you better know how to do these things, because if I have to call my dad, just like I said, no, no, sorry. Now, for those who don't know, this is a tranny, so I'm going to be referring to him as a he. All right? At the end of the day, the Bible says not to lie, so I ain't going to lie. I'm going to say this is a dude. All right? So, um, I'm going to say this, though. I agree with, with a couple of things he said. You know, I do think as a man, there are certain things you should be able to do. As a man, you're a leader. You're a leader. You're the one who who's a protector. You're a provider. And that's what is expected of you. You as a man, you're expected higher duties than a woman. You just are. And if you don't like that, you can be like Gorlock and <laughs> chop off your wiener and play dress up. Right? You wanna you don't wanna be a man? Alright, cool. Be like Gorlock. But I saw a lot of people making fun of Gorlock and look, 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 look. I wonder why we make the wrong people famous in society. Like, there's firefighters out there dying to protect children from burning homes. There's police officers there. There's military men. We have all these amazing people. But yet, Gorlock, some fat trans dude. Why, why, why is this dude in the spotlight? Like, why is this dude everywhere? Like, what's... I, I think the gimmick kind of played out, all right? I guess the gimmick that been played out, okay? I, I, I don't find it that funny anymore. Nonetheless, though, as a man, you should be able to change a tire. Changing a tire is actually really easy. Like, it's not, it's, it's not rocket science. You just boom, 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 and then put a new tire in, right? And he ain't wrong. But bro, you kind of a hypocrite because you're a man. You should be able to be manly too, right? You're dressing up as a girl. You're over here saying, I'm a bad B, I'm a this, I'm a that. Like, I don't know. Um, but it is true, men are getting weaker nowadays. Men are being significantly just... It's a lot of complaining, and that's about it. But at the end of the day, look, look, look. All you can do is be a man, read your Bible. There's nothing more manly than understanding that God is above everything. So go read your Bible, go do what you got to do, and suck it up. And if you don't like it, again, chop off your wiener. Obviously, I'm kidding about that. Please don't do that. And if you do that... Nah, it ain't gonna cook. It ain't gonna be good, but it ain't gonna be good. It ain't gonna be good, but I don't really got much to say because I don't know. I just saw this tweet going viral, and I was like, "Hey, let me get some, let me get some views from it. Let me get some quick, some quick, click, click, click clips out of it, so I can make a video of it." But that's all I gotta say. If you agree, let me know in the comments. If you disagree, I don't know, bro. But um, I'll I'll say it is funny that women will go online talking about the kind of man they want. But then they're out here complaining about toxic masculinity, which was the beginning of that clip as a whole. Like, it was him talking about toxic masculinity is bad, toxic masculinity is this. Here's the thing. There's no such thing as toxic masculinity. The only thing I could say is very toxic about men is that a lot of men would prefer... That a lot of men are more... Like, when we talk about women being more emotional, men are emotional. We're just not emotional in a crying sense. We're more angry. Like, a man being angry... It ha it's more often than a woman being angry because a woman will more just cry and get people to pity her. While a man, a man usually has to stand up on his own and say, hey, look, I got to get things done. Because that's the role of a man. And here's the thing. Patriarchy is a big W. I'm not saying this unironically. Patriarchy is necessary for society. When you look at all the leaders in society, when you look at all the greatest people to have ever existed, it's always men. George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Martin Luther King Jr. A lot of men. We are the leaders, and the Bible constantly says that men are the leaders. Men and women are both great. No one, None of us are better than the other. Like I'm not going to say men are better than women. 
We're just better at certain things and we have certain roles in society while women have other roles. It's why you see so many different cultures follow the same pattern. You look at any culture in the world and it's usually men being leaders, women being the nurturers. And that's just how society works. That's how society works. And if you don't like that, again, go pretend to be a trans, all right? Be a trainee. I don't know what to tell you, all right? But no, it is funny how women will complain about patriarchy and all this. And then yet we'll still be like, I need me a man that's six, five millions of dollars. I need him to be making the six figures this year or whatever. It's like, bro, you can't be over here saying I want a traditional man and then complain about traditionalness because part of being traditional is being very, very masculine and being a leader and being a provider. If you don't like that again, I don't know what to tell you. Go be lesbian. Actually, don't do that. That's sin against God. All right. But, but patriarch is necessary. Biblical patriarchy, at least. I'm not talking about these red pill kind of patriarchies where they can just sleep with multiple women and that's it. I'm talking about biblical patriarchy where a man finds a wife, they both settle down, they both get married, and boom. And if you're saying that doesn't work, I'm sorry to tell you this, but we live in a world where feminism is more prevalent, the LGBT is more prevalent, all this kind of sinful stuff is more prevalent, and everyone's more depressed. More people are on antidepressants. All these people are doing drugs, they're smoking weed saying, it helps me relieve the pain. Bro, all that weed does is harm you even more. Go read your Bibles, go pray. I don't know why I got to tell you this, bro. This is something you should be knowing by now. You should be doing this right now, bro. Click off this video and go pray, bro. Go do that, bro. Go, 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 go do that. That's all I got to say. Thank you guys for watching this video. And praise God. And hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day.